Our top story tonight, a major update regarding public safety in Washington. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Jamie Tompkins. And I'm David Rose. A bill to change police pursuit laws has passed in the Washington Senate just before the deadline. The bill, with its looser rules for chasing criminals with a low standard of evidence, moves one step closer to becoming a law. But it took a surprise move by the state Senate to do so. Frankie Thompson is in Olympia, where Senate Bill 5352 passed 26 to 23 after the rules committee in the House of Representatives refused to let it go to a vote. So Frankie, what more do we know right now? The political wrangling took place against a backdrop of protest as supporters of the change allowing more crimes to be pursued at a lower standard of evidence crowded onto the Capitol steps. You see that face? Look at it. She was very young. She was so young. Just 12 years old when Immaculate Goldade was killed in Midland. It was January 15th, 2022, when her family says she was walking home hand in hand with her best friend when suspects in a stolen truck hit the girls and drove away. Immaculate lost her life. My 12 year old daughter Immaculate and her best friend Kathleen are victims of the no pursuit law. Immaculate's mother, sister, and dozens of supporters stand on the steps of the state capitol, calling on lawmakers to pass House Bill 1363 so that no other family has to endure their heartache. The bill would loosen Washington's current law, which passed in 2021, that restricts pursuits to crimes involving sex, violence, or drunk drivers, and only when police have proof a crime has occurred. If the police were able to pursue him, he could have been caught and put back in jail preventing him from harming innocent, law-abiding citizens and not kill my daughter. Representative Kelly Chambers says the existing pursuit law was supposed to increase public safety. That's not what has happened. In fact, things are more dangerous than ever. And people are dying because of it. And unfortunately, we're seeing kids die because of it. How many children must die before it becomes enough? But now that the Senate has taken the wheel on this issue, their bill, Senate Bill 5352, which includes the looser rules, goes to the House, where the issue was stalled by opponents there. The next deadline, if this Senate bill is to pass, is a House committee vote on April 4th. It really feels like, you know, if, if you're obstructing a bill like this, getting to the floor that has bipartisan support, you really have no regard for public safety. We cannot wait another two years for a policy or a fix to come out. We cannot wait that long. The bill now goes over to the House for a Justice Committee vote. A version of 5352 already passed that committee, but with new amendments tacked on in the Senate, we'll see if it can reach the floor. Reporting in Olympia, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.